two buddies, please. Closing up soon, y'all. Hi, I'm Mr. Mollison and welcome to The Transcript. This week, The Transcript looks into MCAS. Hamped Up talks about summer softball and baseball. Wheel of Courses looks into sociology. And Take Awards tries baking. This week in Israel, cross-borders attack from terrorist group Hezbollah have left over 1,000 acres of northern Israelis' towns burned, including the town of Kiryat Shmona. At this time, thousands of citizens have been evacuated safely. In national news, Hunter Biden's ex-girlfriend, Zoe Keston, went on stand to testify relating to a charge that Biden lied on a form from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives during his purchase of a gun. The trial is set to continue with much more testimony from her. In local news, Pizza Factory in Florence has permanently closed. The Ebok family has run the pizzeria for the last 17 years. I'm Shira Sweet, and this is news. Hey guys, welcome to Bake Awards. This week, instead of reviewing food, we're making it. Our group, Blue Team, is going to be making um, an almond cake, whipped cream frosting with berries covering. And our group, the Red Team, is going to be making a chocolate cake with strawberry buttercream frosting. Preheat the oven. 350. I dabble. I dabble in baking. I dabble heavily in baking. There you go. You're going. Look at look at Maddie go. Maddie's doing a great job. Oh. Yeah, really cool. Alright guys, I'm trying to my protein goal today. Oh. Oh. What? Three cups of sugar is low-key a lot. Uh, what did you do? I did the frosting okay. recipe instead of the cake I put way too much sugar. I put three cups instead of one and three points. Three cups of cake. Okay, we got we got the egg whites. I'm gonna I'm gonna low-key beat those till they peak. Form. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Audio is kind of checked out for a while. Lube. Oh, thank, thank you. you. It's the egg whites getting to me. Let's say egg whites getting to you. Guys, I'm oh, tripping. I'm so hooked on egg whites. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's one cup. Wait, let's do. Okay. Uh, let's do a pour. <laughs> Hey, you know, oh, we should have mixed it. We have to mix it. Oh, that's okay. better. Yeah, that's our bad. Alright, guys. Hot. Where is he? Move. Oh, that you should go. Alright. I'm like really worried about this. That's that that's a wrap on making the cake. Okay, next up, now we are frosting the cakes. Uh let's cut to that. Guys, so we kind of really messed up as you saw. So we're pivoting real quick as any good um, uh, baker would do. Baker, yeah. We're gonna go to Big Y. We're gonna, you're gonna have to buckle up. We're now making strawberry buttercream frosting. I, where do we go? Is it in focus? I, I think it's semi unfocused. Yeah, it's in focus. Okay. It's enough focus. I don't know where we're supposed to go. I, I don't know like either. That way. I'm too tired to. Oh my god. I think Michael would love this. So I Okay. That's my Brioche waffle with butter. Ooh. We're at $7.99. Right. Yep. 
<laughs> it's the plating round, guys, so we're making it look good. I'm just taking some whipped cream and slopping that on there. I'm, whip I'm whipping the cream and slopping it on there. I'm slopping it on like it deserves it. Oh, you're using the tongs for the whipped cream, bro? Yeah, you know it. I don't know it. I'm now gonna take some raspberry syrup and throw that on there. Yeah, we're plated. Okay. Um, that actually looks really good. The Massachusetts Comprehensive Assessment System, commonly abbreviated as MCAS, is Massachusetts' statewide standards-based assessment program. According to Mass.gov, the MCAS helps teachers, parents, and students know where students are excelling and where they need help. However, the MCAS has faced harsh criticism from students, teachers, and parents. The Massachusetts Teachers Association says that the MCAS reduces time to teach, narrows the curriculum, adds stress, reduces creativity, and misuses education dollars. There is a positive impact, and that has been that it's helped schools align with the state standards and frameworks in English in, those, in the subjects that are being tested so that there's some consistency across the Commonwealth on what the expectations are in those areas. Um, it also, I think, for some schools and some students, it raised the bar that not all students were being challenged uh, and in some ways that were detrimental to students. So it said, here's at least a minimum threshold that every student we should be aiming for every student to achieve. It just sucks a lot of time away. You know, we lose a couple of days when we do the math MCAS, we lose, you know, when a bunch of people take the bio MCAS, they're toast for the rest of the day and they can't do math. I think that MCAS as a graduation requirement is not that great. I mean, I obviously don't like it. More things preventing people from graduating. I, I have mixed feelings about MCAS being a graduation requirement and again part of that is the time and resources it takes up uh, to you know it's 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 not a challenging enough uh, and and flexible enough system maybe I find out how much somebody knows about the math maybe I find out how good they are at taking tests maybe I find out if their home life is safe and comfortable so they're ready to they're ready and rested when they show up for the test, or maybe not. So I, there's a lot of different reasons why someone might do well or not well on that math MCAS that don't have to do with how well they know math. In terms of giving students feedback, I think there's much better ways. In a previous school, we built a portfolio system that students demonstrated proficiency, and that was a much more meaningful experience. Thanks for watching. We encourage you to look into this on your own time and form your own opinions about this complicated issue. See you next week. Welcome back to Wheel of Courses, where we take a look into different classes and talk to the teacher and students who are in the class currently. Today we look into sociology, learning about the workload and what the class has to offer. In sociology, we spend a lot of time introducing what sociology is to students because most students haven't heard of it at all or at least it's their first experience with any content. Uh, so sociology, we cover three main perspectives, conflict theory, structural functionalism, and symbolic interactionism. It's very theoretical. We have one major assignment um, by the end of the course, which is the breaking social norms. We get to like go into different classrooms and break social norms so you can just do anything out of the ordinary. It's kind of like an introduction to sociology college course theory based. The hardest part of the class is that there's a lot of jargon and specialized language. Um, I think that the concepts are easy enough to apply because you can just take it at a value of enhancing your gossip, uh, your gossip 
talk uh, with others. You can just give it kind of more language and be more specific about interactions among people. Honestly, there have not been any hard parts of this class. My favorite parts to teach are teaching symbolic interactionism, which is the micro scale interactions, because it has this gossip quality to it, but it makes students become much more critical of their social surroundings, more uh, aware of power structures and how they fit into them or how marginalized members of a community fit into them. So students are, will say things by the end of the semester instead of like, it's not fair, we start with, to like, this social group has more power and they are positioned closer to the centers of power as opposed to marginalized groups. And I think that the social pos positioning and like the very micro interactions that allow people to dominate are like the small micro interactions that allow people to overpower each other. I hope students feel more empowered by the end of it. There are a variety of group work assignments so you can study and do actual research together. And then there's a lot of like personal reflection work, like writing about your personal experience experiences to see how concepts fit into your actual lived experiences. So reflective writing is a challenge and a place to thrive depending on what type of student you are. So I'd say it's um, a mid-level academic rigor class, but it has to be open from ninth graders to 12th. So it's always a balance of how to get everybody engaged and challenged. I have not had to do any work outside of class, but like if you're not doing the work during class, then you are going to have to do it like either at home or during a different class or during flex. So it's really like how you use your time. I would definitely recommend taking this class. It's fun and easy and both of the teachers that teach it are really good teachers. Thanks for watching and if you're interested in the class be sure to talk to Mr. Littlefield or Mr. Lucy. Hi guys welcome back to Bake Wars. They made cakes for us. Kai and Maddie are on blue team and they made waffles. We prepared um, a Belgian waffle with whipped cr almond whipped cream yes, and strawberries and raspberry syrup. Everything on this plate is very melted and it's just like a mess. Oh, two out of ten. I don't like raspberries and I don't like strawberries. So I don't know what happened to the whipped cream but it like melted. Strong three to a light four. This tastes like something that you would buy in the grocery store. Yes, it is. All right, the raspberries, they were, they were, they were pretty mushy. A 5.5. Five. Wait guys, what if I gave you a strawberry that's shaped like a heart? I got two. She I'm gave so me, sorry. She gave me two. I'm just trying to help her chances, guys. Sometimes bribery is how you succeed in life. For bribery, I will give you guys an extra half a point. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys, can we get the other plate, please? Yeah. This is this is terrible. I, I can't. Yes, let me, I will do it. Would anyone like a palate cleanser? cleanser? Yes, yes. This is my right, episode. Let's dig in. I already I dug in. This is already miles better than the waffles. You know, this is actually like edible, like even though it's strawberry frosting, which is not my like first choice. My total score is a 7.5 out of 10. Did you put an umbrella in your, in your cake? <laughs> Okay, so for my rating, this cake, like it's real, and it wasn't store-bought like the other one, so that's starting pretty strong. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. This was terrible. This was, honestly, compared to what I just ate, this is worse. I think I like the science experiment better than whatever I just ate. Five, five out of 10.
summer, Planet Fitness is offering free gym passes to high school students. Visit planetfitness.com summer pass if you're interested in registering for the program. Two bourbons, please.